Well, hello, Aries. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K, and this is your mid April 2017 love reading. Um, yeah, I want to take a moment, real quick, to thank everyone who's come to me for readings and who have written and acknowledged the things that have transpired in their lives according to what we have discussed along the way. Um, I feel like this mid-April is a really important time for some reason. It's like I wasn't even going to do these videos and now I'm being pulled to really let people know that everything's going to be okay. We're just getting tested, um, a lot of us at this point, uh, because we're supposed to be learning a lot about ourselves and who we are within um, through these connections with others. And if something doesn't seem clear, it's because it's a warning. And to, because spirit wants to bless us with something that's very uh, meant to be, that brings us peace, joy, and contentment. Okay, so we want to be sure that that is what we're welcoming, not only onto our path, but to the paths of those around us. Um, I want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed because I just reached 10,000 viewers or subscribers um, in my first year, which was April 7th which was another ironic thing because how seven is always reminisced, uh, had been a part of my life since I was born. So um, <clears throat> thank you very much. I'm going to be raising my readings from $30 to $40 for these videos because um, it's taking me, well, the videos are getting larger and people are asking 100 questions and I'm trying to fit everything within that half hour time and I'm still going to, but we have to remember that there's all these steps and emails involved in a process. So really a video reading is causing me to be able or to have to invest like an hour per person um, and it slows things down for everybody. And it takes a lot of my time away from my family and I have a full-time job. So I'm doing my best. I'm trying to, you know, meet everyone's answers, questions um, as quickly and, um, of course, as accurately as possible. So I need to take the time to meditate, too, and ex in, con in addition to everything else. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on this love reading for uh, uh, Aries for mid-April. To about mid-May, all right? But we'll just say the next couple weeks. Everybody is on a different time schedule. Some of these readings apply to some of the energies I'm pulling at this time. So either these energies will click with what's going on in your space of time right now, or it will, or it has been, or maybe with some of you, this isn't even your energy. Either way, I'm available at josiek42 at gmail.com. All right, let's get on with the reading. So the card representing your current life path here on earth at this time is the make the effort card. Spirit is saying great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So as usual, open up your heart, share and give love to others. Whether you're in a partnership or you will be in a partnership, some of you are being told to go ahead and give your relationship a chance to work on this partnership, to make the effort, to take the steps. Now, what I've been doing is these are the Rider Waite, uh, Doreen Virtue, Romance Angel cards, and I'm going to include the Rider Waite so that as we step through each position of this layout, we can, in this Celtic Cross layout, we can discuss them with great clarity. All right, dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the sign of Aries for the month, mid-month, April, romance energies at this time on into the future. All right, so if any of you are rushing into a situation to almost be forcing a situation to work or to become something, um, this particular card is saying to kind of slow your roll. Take your horse over to the pond, give it a drink of water, go within, get a look of the entire perspective on your connection with someone. For some of you, you're walking away because you're feeling down and depleted, like you haven't, you're not getting any recognition from someone. Um, and Spirit's saying, you know, you can give your relationship a chance by just basically pulling back, giving your horse a drink of water, taking a time to look at the big picture. In your hopes position, you have the worth waiting for. Maybe some of you are hoping that divine timing is at work in your love life. And that's probably good that you're thinking that way because we have the Two of Swords coming in who is saying, you know what, 
either it's just not time for you to make a decision or there's something about the situation that you can't see because you're blindfolded from it. And this is why you're kind of being left to rely on spirit and divine timing is because there's something you can't do. I feel like some of you are being held back, stuck, stagnant somehow, but that it is a blessing. You know, sometimes you learn more by sitting back and viewing something from within, taking time to just observe. In your foundation position, you have the new love card. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings, and you've been maybe considering connecting, writing back and forth. But sp again, spirit saying, calm down, take a moment. You can make the effort, but just wait for the right timing. For now, don't be down and out. Just be kind. Don't open your heart too much. Be patient because spirit is working on the divine timing for some particular reason. In the recent past, some of you were up in your head about something or you and someone else had a different viewpoint on a situation. Someone may have been coming and going and coming and going and now they may even be walking away. I think that's why you're wanting to give a partnership a chance, but you're feeling like your cup is half empty. And there's no point at this time, even though your heart is open and great love is worth taking the steps you're guided for, there's no point in rushing into a situation that you feel someone is just kind of coming and going from. I feel like a new person's going to come in and maybe this next person is going to be worth waiting for. Or if some of you have been tempted because you're in a commitment, know that this, I feel, was a lesson and that it really is important to take the perspective on why something transpired on your path. What is it that you had to learn from this experience about love? Moving into your near future, you're receiving the It's Safe for You to Love card. Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all, which is love. Some of you might be taking a trip to meet someone or someone's coming to meet you. You're trying to keep your heart open. Though you are bringing with you sad thoughts, feelings, and emotions from the past, which may have been tumultuous, and now you're wanting to go into the future, but you are unsure. Will this be your new love? Will it be worth the effort? Should you give the relationship a chance when in the past it didn't give much back to you? It may be worth waiting for, but right now you cannot make a decision, and you need to be content with that. Because Spirit's saying over the next two, two and a half months... Maybe even one, one and a half months, depending on where you are on your spiritual journey. You're receiving the let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So it's worth waiting for, maybe, but you need to pause. You're receiving the energies of the high priestess. This is telling you you have connection over the next month or month and a half to connect with spirit. So allow the situation to unfold as spirit will have it unfold for you. You can send information back and forth, but at that point, I think it's just best to kind of sit and observe. Someone's coming into your path who may have some romantic feelings, and they're wondering if their feelings are real and worth exploring. They're wondering if they should take a journey, if it's safe for them to love, if they can open their heart, if it's worth waiting for. But they can't really see the situation clearly either. They're being... Um, provided with the judgment card so they're feeling at some point like they want to make some sort of decision they're afraid that if they don't make a decision that maybe they'll be forgotten somehow in your hopes and fears some of you may be hoping that your love life will benefit as you heal some family issues, not necessarily with your parents, but maybe for some of you, in order to leave some place for a new love, you need to make sure it's safe, number one. Number two, like I said before, I feel like it will affect people around you. So you need to be careful. Dip your toe in the water. Be cautious. Take some time and be patient as you inform those around you 
where it may be that you're going, where it may be that you're needing to experience something on your path in life in general. I notice these wings are bright red or actually dark red. And I feel like they're just going to, Spirit's going to be wrapping their wings around you and telling you everything's going to be okay. So to remain, try and get yourself in that positive energy that what is meant to be will be. The card in your outcome position is the heart to heart conversations card. It will be time to honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Whoa. Yep, there's imbalance. Somebody might not want to talk. It's like either we get down to business and connect or we don't. Communication may be difficult in the near future. And that's why I think some of you are on pause is like if they don't want to talk to, talk and connect and 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 take this this connection to a deeper level then I need to let control and I need spirit to tell me what should become of this particular situation. The card overlooking the entire read is the express your love card. Go ahead and make your romantic gesture. Do it in a kind way. Maybe some of you need to be open and have a conversation to explain things that may be going on with a child in your life. You want to express your love, but you have other priorities that are kind of keeping things busy. So therefore, you can't look beyond what's taking place in your current path because there needs to be some sort of healing in the family. The other overlooking card further down the line to include the Rider weight deck is the flirt card. And Spirit's saying, go ahead and extend your lighthearted energy. Everybody loves the energies of flirting. But it's almost like some of you are like, I don't want to flirt. I had all these dreams. I had all these thoughts. I had all these emotions and all these hopes. And now it feels like they're all coming to an end. It feels like they're destroying me. They're keeping me up at night. There's something I can't move forward with because I have so many other things to take care of. Take down these swords. Open up your window and let the sun shine in. If things don't work out, it's because they're not meant to work out. It's that then you have to realize what was the experience for? Because there's a reason for a connection in every aspect, every Every time you connect with a person every day, things happen for a reason. And it's all because of a spiritual educational journey that we're on as we move down our spiritual path towards the blessings we are to receive. But our blessings also come through lessons and um, whether or not we can move beyond certain lessons or if we have to go round and round um, first to see what it is. Spirit wants us to comprehend. All right, so I'm going to continue on with a rider weight layout to my right for further confirmation. I see some of you be, will be doing very, very well with money. You'll have a nice surroundings, nice surroundings, sorry. Moving into the near future, I feel like you are going to be blessed with a beautiful new path and opportunity in love. One where you can put closure to something or a path you are currently on and step into a new world. At least these are in your hopes position. I see money. I see love. I see putting closure to things. And then I see the reality of your situation is, is that you are kind of, you're in a good situation already, some of you. You have a very happy family life with peace, joy, contentment, and happiness. And then you're thinking about a new path, but yet that's putting you in this place where you can't see all the answers it is that you need to see in order to move forward. You could put closure on something and within the next three weeks to three months, begin to create a new path for yourself, a new blessed path filled with, filled with beautiful things, great opportunities. In your foundation right now, some of you are really reminiscing about a family life with lots of money and you're going within with the hermit energies to figure out how did all this start in my life? Where am I now? What are the experiences I had to endure to make me who I am now? And how can I use this information to move forward in my life? It seems that some of you, not to bring career in, but it's here, 
may have some questions with regards to career and how it is you're going to move forward. Some of you are going to receive a lot of recognition and acknowledgement and have to think. You almost can't help think. Should I put closure to one path? Uh, maybe some of you have two occupations going on at the same time. Maybe you would be uh, given an offer to come out of where you are at in a particular division and or uh, department, and now you're going to move forward. Um, this is almost like you're giving a gift to yourself by going within and figuring out who you are, what you want, where you want to go. Especially in love, for some of you. You need to see that this situation is going to bless your life with peace, joy, contentment, happiness, money, love, or you're moving on. Because this is in the outcome position, and this is saying, you know what? I'm good no matter which way this thing turns out. I'm going to maintain and take care of myself, and I'll be just fine. So we have you opening your heart, being leery of some sort of connection, some of you, not all of you. That may be very passionate that you may want to just jump and take a risk on. But the problem is, is this person may have set, been sending out cups, but they don't really want the one being offered by the universe, the true love. And I think it, some of you may come to the realization in the next month, month and a half. And you'll have to take some time to cry over spilt milk. Continue to uh, push against others if people at work are trying to force you out of a position, know that you are in a higher position. And um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of messages coming and going and coming and going. And there's going to feel like you're battling the world at some time. So again, like the hermit, these are the hanged man energies. Before making any decision in the next four to six weeks for sure, do not make any choices until you've looked at things from every perspective. It may come time where you need to put an end to something so something new can start and look at that. A new path in money. Boom. Jumping out, shining in your space. Saying at this point in time, you will have enough to give and take and to care for others. You will have enough to put yourself in a very good position. And this is a blessing from the universe. The Hierophant saying, take the next key, open the next door. You're on your way. If anyone is bothering you or you're trying to focus on money and they're coming in to get your attention, you need to really look at where you've been and what you've created and reminisce on that and be proud of that before you move on and start another path, journey, career project. Know that justice is in your favor. Some of you will be thinking, do I want to keep putting so much energy into a person or a project or do I want to lay down my wands and move forward? Send out your messages, uh, almost like decipher the messages you're receiving back and come to terms with whether or not the situation is going to bring you heartache or not. You've gone far enough and Spirit's here to give you the Ten of Wands to let you know that this is a one. One plus zero is one. You can be like the Emperor, be honest, be structured, be a leader. You have things to take care of. Let people know, you know what, I'm doing just fine where I'm at. You might reminisce a little bit about the past. Maybe that's who's been connecting with you, but business is taken off. I feel like there might be some people that want to connect with you with regards to how well it is that you're doing with something, a project, a career, a self-owned business. And you're going to have to be very clear with them about what it is you are planning for your path, what it is you want for yourself, and what it is you won't accept. Because here's your new, exciting, passionate opportunity. Here it comes. Have the strength. You're going to have to work very, very hard. But what will this bring you? A beautiful home life, marriage, contentment, peace, and joy. All because you went in and you figured out what it is you really wanted to manifest on your path. And that ability to manifest and create something for yourself that you're going to make yourself very proud of yourself about will make you be above and beyond those who are coming in to just try and mess with some of you Aries. Um, you know, be kind in a way that is kind of direct, but that needs to be said in a way that is like healing 
you know, let someone know that you're thankful that they came onto your path because they taught you a lot about healing within your own self. Bless them well and send them on their way in a kind, kind way and still remain friends if you want to. I feel like some of you, this person isn't going to get what they want when you say that from you. And it just may be time to watch their reaction and let them kind of go on their way. You know, they're learning on their path, whoever this person is. Yeah, and you're receiving a really good card from the Oracles of Shadow and Light deck. Now, this is a new deck for me. The number for this particular card is 31. 3 plus 1 is 4. So um, maybe something's going to happen in four weeks. I believe it has to do with some sort of clarity. She's coming in from the, again, Oracle of Shadows and Light deck by Lucy Cavendish. Cavendish and it says, Lady with a Bosch Egg. Bosch Egg. Ancient Wisdom. <clears throat> the Lady with a Bosch Egg is one of the... one is the one in this lifetime who has been chosen to keep safe and something keep kept secret. Deep esoteric knowledge. Throughout history's most troubled times, there have always been courageous beings ensuring the sacred knowledge was kept alive. Even though the world may burn and disasters befall humanity, the wars take down cities. There will always be these brave souls who will take the knowledge represented by the Bosch egg camouflage it and keep it safe so that at a later time when the world is finally ready we will all learn my town is on fire she says the night sky is full of screams and smoke i have done what i can to safeguard this treasure from the sacred library i will keep it safe record its wisdom and ensure that these truths stay alive for a future time i hope that you understand the history of the knowledge you crave and respect and acknowledge the freedom of the times you now live in and do the work yourself it may be some time you too will find my egg and that you are the person chosen to speak of the knowledge that others thought was lost it may be that you're a guardian of wisdom. If you are, know when to keep silent, when to keep to yourself, and to know that some secrets come to light at the right time. I bring you now the symbols of alchemists, the secret of Gnostics, and the wisdom of the magicians and the witches of the herbalists, all saved for this time in this strange form of the egg. Know that while you are safe, you may wish to keep silent about certain practices. So some of you might have created something in silence to teach yourself some sort of educational, spiritual lesson. It's like you brought something into your world to learn from it in yourself, and it may even be secret from anyone around you, and that's okay because I believe you're getting the answers that you needed to know spiritually, and you're finding peace, joy, and contentment in what you are realizing. So I'm going to go ahead and pull uh, some cards, do a Celtic cross layout. This is for some of you who are Aries, who may be dating this person, um, not dating, but like connecting with somebody in an outside realm who is leaving you in a questionable position. Um, yeah, we're going to explain this person's thoughts, feelings, emotions, viewpoints of the connection they have with you, Aries. This is a new thing I'm doing with the Tarot of the Hidden Realm deck. Somebody is extremely focused and determined to connect with some of you Aries. They have naughty aspects on their mind. They want to do something that is not good, not healthy for anybody. In their thoughts and positions, they feel like they are working hard within to figure out their life and, and their struggles and how far they've had to come. And they feel like they're being reborn from the ashes by something that took place from their past. They're in a situation where they're coming back and forth and coming back and forth and wanting to leave half the time with you. Yep, they've grown into who they are. They set down their wands. They're moving forward. They have just like the not healthiest viewpoint on relationships right now. And they're looking at offers um, from people around them. It doesn't even need to be money. It's like passion or something. And in the next six to eight weeks, they're wondering if they should give this connection uh, any more tries that brought them passion and things that maybe just weren't healthy for them and probably wasn't healthy for some of you, Aries. This is you, someone outside this person's path looking at what, going after what it is that they want and not caring who they hurt in the process. This person is thinking, I need to be patient. 
I need to take my time to realize, is this what I want on my path? Is this good for me? Is this not good for me? Should I just walk away? In the end, they're going to become very determined. And I feel this is because some Aries finally said what it is that they felt about a situation. And yeah, that makes them come even stronger. That makes them see the situation in a more beautiful manner. And now they're figuring out what is it that I have to do to bring this person on my path? Do I have the strength to offer love? So somebody around you is really, really struggling. I think they want the best for themselves, but I feel as though they're just not in a good space right now maybe sometime down the line, but they also, I believe, are dealing with family issues. They're getting to a point where they are putting closure on a situation, but I don't feel like they've gone through the healing. I just don't feel like they've gone there enough, and it's not enough for some Aries to either leave a position they're in or a job they're in or anything. This person feels stuck. Maybe they want to come to you. Maybe some of you Aries are with someone else, and that person feels stuck on the outside. That person has feelings and thoughts of just charging forward and saying how it is, which is fine. I'm sure Aries can handle that. Yeah, they want to become something that is very lustful and passionate, yet in their foundation, they're kind of confused about money. Do they have enough money? Should they make more money? Should they create more money? For some of you, it could be an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini in the recent past. They did go full circle in a struggle, and now they're trying to manifest something moving forward. Here's some of you Aries. They're looking at you, but they see you in only what you could provide for some of them. They wonder if they want to give something a last chance, and they might start to get very aggressive and wordy with you. And you might be wondering if any of this is worth a struggle, like we talked about before, especially if it's built on this person's romantic thoughts and passion their hopes and fears are that they can cut away from things that no longer serve them that they can get balance in their life that's good and in their outcome position they're really going to look at do i want to go back to what it is that i suffered through before or start something new i'm going to do another layout to my left for further confirmation yep they're trying to build things off of fantasy off of things that are not healthy and Spirit's saying that they're going through a major spiritual inner transformation because of some sort of heartache they went through. You can't rush in and fix these people, Pisces. <clears throat> That's why you're getting the moon card. There's something you don't understand about that person and what they're going through. And you do have your heart open. You want to share your love, some of you. But yet you're sitting there waiting, setting goals, doing what's right for you. And feeling like all of this connection is just causing you too much pain and anguish. You want to be recognized. You want to travel. You want to um, use your magical abilities to be able to create something wonderful on your path for yourself. So some of you are going to lay down the wands and say enough is enough. This battle's too difficult. And then in comes this air sign. And it could be an earth, uh, their rising sign or their moon sign I'm hearing. And you're going to have to kind of give them a message and say, you know what, instead of messages going back and forth, I don't know if I want these messages anymore. I'm doing very well on my own, and I'm in a very creative time, in a very creative time. They might even get you up in your head again, and you need to know that it is time to put closure to a situation that no longer serves you and become more independent. Because if you don't, some of you, you're going to run into a situation where you find this person is seeing other people, is doing the same thing with other people than they are with you, and it's going to cause heartache. I mean, <clears throat> it's almost like I know some of you see it for what it is. You already know. And if some of you are willing to put yourself in a situation thinking that you're going to help or change someone, then go ahead. But I can tell you that this person is in a major struggle and whatever it is, they need to work through it. And the hermits, they're protecting them, um, providing them with spiritual um, coverage, blessings, surroundings, um, really pulling for them to get through. And they'll find someone that's good for them. It may even be you and down the line in your future, but right now is not the time. So Aries, <clears throat> remember that you're being blessed with the strength card from Archangel uh, Doreen Virtue's Angel Tarot deck. This is the number two, so I believe that there you will be with someone if you aren't already. Archangel Ariel says, you will have great inner strength at this time. Release harsh judgments of those around you and have forgiveness and compassion. Know that we are all struggling on our own path, up in our own heads, in our own ways, and that, you know, 
Don't get angry with someone else because they're struggling within. Page of Water. A new person enters your life. A relationship heightens to a new phase, and you'll have heightened psychic abilities. So you're going to be able to acknowledge love, what's best for you in love, and do what needs to be done in love. Here you are as the Queen of Air. There will be objective decision-making by you. Clear away those things that no longer serve you and see the humor of what it is that you probably created for yourself. Some of you, not all of you. You are like the queen of fire on the bottom of the deck. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and your creativity. Really get into something that it is that you're creating at this time or a division, uh, maybe a project at work because I feel like it's going to be extremely successful. So focus on career. Love is going to be kind of all over the place. I do feel like there's some sort of healing that needs to be done with regards to love. Um, so to close your reading, I'm going to pull a card from Dorian. I have pulled a card from Dorian Virtues Romance Angels deck. And you're receiving Angel Akasha, which means you're just starting to earn your wings. You're a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and to help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life mission. So you're going to maybe take some of what it is that you learned from this connection and bring it to someone else and say, you know what? Yes, it seems tough for you at this time, but because I've been where you are, I am here for you to help you if you have any questions. The angel of patience is coming in to say, now is the time to learn, study, and gather information and enjoy being a student because in the future you'll synthesize your knowledge into action. I believe this has to do with career, so if there's things you need to learn or any further education you need to take on the job, now is a very important time because you will succeed because you did that. Look at this. The outcome card is the Omega card saying victory. Your desire is coming into fruition. Keep up the good work. And as far as connecting back with someone from the past, Spirit saying with Angel Bridget, caution is warranted. Look deeper into the situation before proceeding further. Spirit wants you to know with Angel Astara, you deserve the very best. Reach for the stars and dreams with your dreams and desires and do not compromise. So in any situation over the next month, month and a half, Aries, please don't compromise. Get your, I feel like you already have your ducks in a row. You know what it is that you want and do not want. And you need to be clear with other people about that because right now you come first. All right. So I hope I helped to answer some of your questions um, with regards to love. If not, like I said, I'm available at josiek42 at gmail.com. Give me a read or give me a, drop me a line and, um, I'll pull from your energies directly and we can go further. Thank you so very much once again for coming to my reading and my channel. And I hope that you'll like and subscribe so I can maybe work my way up to 20,000 subscribers. I hope to see you again in May. Take care and God bless.